Watch me ride. Hey everybody, today I'm at Hazeman Motorcycles and I'm taking a bike out, but it's not a motorcycle, it's another electric bike, uh, another bike from Volt. If you remember last summer, I think it was, I took out their little folding one. It was kind of funny because I'm huge. Um, but they've now got this, which is the Bigfoot, which is, um, well as you can see, it's big, it's much bigger. Uh, these huge tyres which have got like, uh, like a giant rubber ring inside them. Very interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking it to an off-road park and just having a little look up there. To start with, I'm going to ride this like a normal push bike. All the electrics are off. I just want to see what it feels like as a normal push bike if your power goes, you know, if you run out of juice. Now you get about, the range on this is dependent very much on the power. You get about, they say, 60 miles out of it. Now that's 60 miles, obviously, with minimal uh, help from the motor. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't know that this was an electric bike that I wasn't using the electrics on. It only has nine gears, and they seem to range quite a bit. <laughs> See, this is where the electric bike comes in. Ah, oh, we get the payoff for the downhill. Okay, so, well, to me, this feels like any other push bike, really. It feels nice and light. The tyres... I thought they'd drag a lot more, but they really don't. To turn it on, just press that button. Press this button. I just want to go off this road because it's getting dodgy. Power level four. Right. Whoa. Well, there's your difference. Put it into the highest gear. I am just turning my legs around. There's no pressure, it's literally just moving them around in a circle. And I'm doing 20.3 miles an hour with no effort. I want to get on that track. Oh, I have to go in through here. Oh, the flags are out. It's a firing range, so I can't actually go that way. So I'll have to just try it out on the tracks. They can't be like throttle controlled in the UK over a certain speed, you have to be pedalling. The, the laws have not caught up with the technology, that's the problem. Which is very often the problem in England, isn't it? Now, there's no suspension on this bike, but I think the tyres are doing most of it, because I'm not feeling any of the roughness of this ground. And just notice that I'm not getting out of breath in the slightest, this is so good. Now, this isn't cheap. Uh, this is two grand, I believe. But if you do do comparisons between this and a, say, a costings of a 50cc scooter or something, this works out pretty damn good. Now, in full honesty, this has been tweaked a little bit. Basically, the power setting you get from the bike can be adjusted. Normally, the power is set to a level which is UK legal, road legal. But if you want to use it off-road, you can make some small adjustments and you up the power. Now, you don't want to go too far with that because you can burn the motor out. And I don't know where the warranty and everything sits on that, but you can do it for if you're going off-road. It gives you a bit more, uh, a bit more oomph. And it's something that can be also changed at the side of the road. So you could ride it in its legal mode on the road to a place, tweak the power a little bit, and then get on. Well, the brakes are quite effective. It's not that heavy. It feels like a light, a good light push bike. There's just a noticeable bit of extra weight in the back. Okay, so this is the display. Obviously, you've got your battery marker up here, your speed. And this number four is how much power it's going to offer you. Because the way that it works, basically, is you can start pulling away using this throttle. Because it, But it's not a throttle. It's literally, as you start off, it will help you get moving. Then you get your legs moving, then it will continue. But this will only allow you to go a, sort of a crawl. The power level tells you how much power it's going to have now. Starting with zero. Zero is off. So you can ride it as a normal push bike. And then when you need a bit of a boost, like going up a hill or something... 
then you can just add the power in like that. Obviously, if you want to ride a push bike for exercise purposes, but then when you get to the hard parts of like getting up the hills, you can use the assist there and, and ride the flat yourself. Uh, automatic, it'll automatically pick up how hard you're pedaling and stuff like that, and then it gives you the power depending on that. Then you have power level one, which goes up to so many miles an hour, two, so many miles an hour. Most people are just going to put it in four or zero, I think. Or maybe auto, I don't know, but I've been using it in four. I'm going to try it in the zero function for a laugh through here. So, yeah, I mean, it feels like a normal push bike. But if I'm like, ah, oh, a bit tired, I'd like a bit of extra. You know, I am a big chap, I'm six foot four, and I'm able to ride this thing around. Have fun on it. <laughs> really getting into its stride. <sighs> if you lift up the front end, it feels like a very light bike. Okay, you can tell it's got a heavier wheel on it, a uh, large wheel. You can feel, you can feel the weight more in the back here. And obviously, if you pick the whole thing up, it's like it is quite. It's a bit noticeably heavier than a push bike. That's actually really, really good fun. Um, having only tried the folding bike before, it's like uh, it was just a little run. Around. This is fun. This has got power. This has got. We well, obviously, I say it's been tuned up a little bit, but it's not that much over um, the standard. But so uh, you'll have to speak to Volt about that. How they've shaped this frame, I don't know. It's it's quite amazing actually because it's it's rounded and thin here. It then has a obviously a strengthening point here because that's where it's thicker. Then you've got this. It's a really interesting shape of frame actually. I'm not sure quite how you make that. And this starts out flat here and then interchanges into flat there because it's obviously the planes of strength. This is it looks like a very very strong frame. I do think. It could have had some suspension. But then maybe that's what they were saying. Maybe this is what these tyres are for. It is pretty good. They're so low pressure as well, look. They feel great. I'm guessing one of the adaptions they've made that's made it this in this current configuration not road legal is the fact that I've just discovered I don't actually have to pedal at all. Even in any of the things. So obviously that's one of the things. Because as I do understand it, for the road, you cannot have a throttle as such. But do not worry, you can configure this bike without any tools uh, into its road legal or non-road legal varieties as it were. And then you just put it into a high gear, slowly turn your legs around and cruise along. And you'll notice through all, all of this, I'm not really out of that out of breath. Mind out, Chaffinch. Now we're on a hill. Normally I'll be getting knackered. I look like the fittest cyclist in the world. Twenty-one miles an hour off-road 
in a dirt track. Only having one set of gears is quite handy because you only need to click up and down one occasionally. Just give yourself an extra bit of torque. Thought, if you want me to do some long-term reviews on something like this, send me one of these bikes. I'll definitely make videos on it. Be awesome for vlogs. Um, like, more low-key vlogs, just hanging around the local town. We're living on a pretty little island. It means it's good. And we are back. If you're wondering, why did this guy do this in a motorcycle helmet, leathers and gloves and stuff? Well, the gloves, if you're going at decent speed, you don't want to put in your hands down. Helmet, well, that's because partially that's where my camera is attached, because I'm normally a motorcycle vlogger. But also because at these speeds, you need to pay attention to uh, your safety. Even on a normal push bike, you can really hurt yourself when you should wear a helmet. Right, after all of that, we have used one bar of battery and we've been using it in the highest power a lot of the time. Um, I am massively impressed by that. That is so much more fun than the little folder, which is obvious because the little folding bike is just for... It's a little folding bike. This is actually like a, a good thing. It's got like some performance to it. And I'm, look, I'm not in the slightest bit out of breath. Amazing. Well, there we go. If you're interested in one of these Volt electric bikes, that is the Bigfoot. As I say, it's about 2K. Uh, Hazeman Motorcycles, they sell them, they are a dealer. Come and check them out. Catch you next time. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.